Welcome to Celebrity Act Two, where John and I get to speak with all sorts of interesting people. One of the most interesting people is Dr. Liz Lisser, who helps us with things that make us healthy. All kinds of things, and that's why I can bring up this kind of odd question for a medical doctor. Um, Art and I were talking about weight loss and keeping track of your weight loss. And I, I know that when I'm in my weight loss mode, I've got to get on that scale. I've got to, I can't just weigh myself. I have to write it down. Mm. Time of day, how much I weighed, what was I wearing? Should I subtract five pounds for shoes? You know, so here's the question. This listing, this keeping track of um, of things, whether it's weight loss or your blood pressure or anything else, is that is that a, a form of of activity that will help us medically? Maybe in, you know brain function as opposed to muscle function yeah. or something like that. But it, yeah. is it good for us to do lists like that? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, because I know it is. helps. That's oh, right. You're, you are you are completely right. That is a form of journaling. Uh, people do food journaling. They can journal about emotions. They can write down things they're grateful about. Uh, and there's been some very interesting studies. For example, the Journal of Abnormal Psychology, uh, which of course is going to do uh, publish lots of studies, like psychological related studies, uh, actually found that people who wrote down and talked different than what you're talking about, a little more in depth, of course, talking about past traumatic experiences, but they actually had lower blood pressure uh, and lower heart rates and more uh, healthy immune systems. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh huh. So those, and, and they compared, they had everybody journal, but they had people writing about uh, more deeper emotional experiences versus people, for example, just writing what they did that day. So more a uh, little, little bit more superficial, all right. Yeah. But I, I love journaling. I think it's a wonderful practice. Uh, it is a great way to calm down the stress hormones and to be able to focus. Uh, I, I think it's quite helpful, and the studies uh, bear that out. Hmm. You know, um, I, I taught school for college level courses for a number of years, on and off, and one of the things that I uh, tried to share with my students was the fact that the way we learn, the way mm -hmm. our brain works, we happen to know that if you want to remember something like the tra crap that I'm teaching you in this course, what you will do is you will not only listen to it, that's one receptor, but you will write it down. You'll make notes. You'll keep a notebook. That's two. That's and right. if we have a video, you can see the explanation. That's three. And the whole point is that scientifically, we know that our brain remembers things, which is what my point was to the students, but it also helps us learn, not just remember, but learn okay. things when we use our senses, when we use all of our uh, ta talents receptors to right. take in this information. And it seems to me that what you're talking about, journaling, yeah. is really a, a way feedback for us. We write down our emotions. We read it back. We look at what we did yesterday. We get to we get to mull it over. We get to think about it. We get to learn from our own journal. It's, uh -huh. it's a fascinating idea. That is absolutely correct. You are correct. The act of writing activates different pathways in the brain. The more pathways we activate in the brain, the more we improve memory, we can stimulate different areas of the brain, right? So that was, I think, completely correct for your students and in that learning setting. There's also the psychological regulation, emotional regulation. And when I talk about regulation, I'm talking about it also combined with hormonal balance. Mm. Okay, so hormonal balance, the stress hormones calming down, allow the other hormones to work more correctly, more the way they are designed, which also helps the immune system and studies of journaling and the health impact of journaling actually support that. That's what they, that's what they see in those studies. It's very yeah, I'll, I'll tell you that when uh, I've been uh, keeping track of my, uh, my weight and uh, been very successful over the last year. And one of the things is I have an Excel spreadsheet. I put my weight in every day. I weigh myself at the same time. 
And I also uh, uh, looked up the calculation for BMI, so I know where I'm headed and how my what my BMI is. And rather than just be a, on a diet, uh, well, well, I have a lifestyle because I'm on a whole food plant based diet, so I'm I'm there with that. But I I'm more invested in it as opposed to being a a voyeur just sort of viewing it and sure. pulling off the wagon. Yeah. And since I've kept track of it on a daily basis, I've been much more successful because now I'm really invested in my own result as opposed to uh, just hoping that it works out okay. I have proof, this yeah. is where it is every day. Here's a real yes. number, not what I just imagined. Yes, I have had the same experience. Now, for some of our listeners who might listen to you and say, oh my gosh, he's been doing that for so long. I, I can never be that consistent. I, I have a couple of tips. Can I share a couple of tips? Mm. Yep, good. One one is just to, as with many things in life and especially in instilling a new habit is start small. Just a couple, three, four, maybe up to five minutes per day writing in a journal have it be part of a routine. For me, it's part of my bedtime routine, right? Another little, uh, I guess it would be a gadget, but it's a book. Uh, the journal that I use, it's called a five-year journal. So it has a very small amount of space to write in. And so, for example, under today's date, it has five sections that are only about an inch high. And I put the year... And then I write whatever I want to say. So it, it keeps it really short for me. But for myself, that allows me to stick with the habit. So those are a few tips for anybody listening that wants to give it a try and see how they feel. Writing down what you're grateful for, writing down something particular about the day, uh, writing how you're feeling. It really can be as much depth. Of course, you can use a, a bigger journal with lots of pages if you want to say a lot about what has happened during the day. But starting small is always a great way to introduce a new habit. What a great idea, journaling. Mm. Who knew? That's, that's terrific. I hope a lot of people try it. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.